we're going to tie a relatively uh, new pattern I've been working on, and this is called Hammer Creek's Pearl. And so I've got a size 12 scud hook in the vise with a 332nd bead, and I'm going to add some additional, and the bead color is in, it's in a copper, I'm going to add some additional weight to this fly, so I'm going to take maybe 10 wraps or so of lead underwire, and I'm just going to push that into the bead to secure it. Now my th overall color of this fly is going to be in a chartreuse and you can tie this in a wide variety of, of colors uh, just change out the thread and that will add uh, the differences you're looking for. So with this is going to be a chartreuse um, I'm starting with a chartreuse 70 and I'm just going to get it started behind the lead and wrap it up and I can clean off the tag section and now I'm going to put a little bit of a, a tag into this fly so I'm going to take my thread down and just build up a tag section And then I can advance my thread to behind the lead again. So the ribbing for this, I'm going to use a chartreuse uh, small ultra wire. So I'll just take a section of that, put it in behind the lead, and then I'm going to wrap that down, but not as far as I've taken my thread. Just going to stop short so you can see that little tag end uh, will stick out in the back there. So, and then just wrap that back up. I'm going to take a couple more wraps through this lead. Ultimately, you want all the lead, lead covered, so I'm just going to start building that up. Alright, the final body material that we're going to use and where the fly gets its name is a pearl tinsel. So I'm going to take a, maybe a 4 inch section of pearl tinsel and I'm going to tie this into the same spot behind the, behind the lead and bring it down to the same ending point where I did the wire. And now if you want to put any more taper in with the thread you can. Just cleaning it all up making sure it has a good transition point. And I'll bring that back up to behind the bead. And now I can just start to wrap that pearl tinsel just covering all the thread. So again if you're using a different color thread it's going to really impact the overall body color of this. I like to tie it in a fire orange as well as the green. They're probably two of my, two of my favorite colors. So just wrap this all the way up. Careful not to lose your, use your grip so it unwinds and then I can make some wraps through that. I'm going to be adding a thorax so I can back the thread away from the bead head and I'll trim that trim that piece of pearl. Alright now the back and the tail for this is pheasant tail and I'm going to use a golden pheasant tail. I'm going to take maybe five five strands and I'm going to measure it out on the back keeping in mind that the ribbing material is going to hold it in place so where that starts is where my where my tail section is going to be so that looks pretty good to me so I can make some wraps right on top just make sure it's situated on top there and I can come back through and trim 
trim that and make sure it's really good and tied in. Now holding this, the pheasant tail right on top, I'm going to take and start to wrap my ultra wire all the way up through. And you just want nice even, nice even wraps with this. And I can make make some turns there at the top just to have everything in and I can just break off that that wire. Alright, I'm just making sure everything's nice and tight in there with some more turns. Look at it from the from the top if you need to readjust any of the pheasant tail fibers, but it looks pretty good sitting just like that. Now I'm gonna come back with some more of my a pearl tinsel. I'm going to make this a flashback so I'm just going to tie in just going to tie in another piece of this right on top and then I'm also going to add some thin skin and this is a mottled oak thin skin material. So I'm going to tie that right into the top as well. And the final piece is some uh, ice dubbing. I'm going to use an olive color to dub the thorax. So I'll take some a pinch of that, get it right on my right on my thread, and now I'll just start to make thorax to this fly. I'll pull everything over, some thin skin first, take a wrap, and then I'll bring my pearl over take a wrap, make sure everything is lined up and centered and finish off here underneath some whip finishes and I'll trim off all the excess material as well as my thread and clean up any spots I might have missed alright and the last the last piece to this is I'm just gonna put some head cement over top so I like to use Loon's hard head cement on this so I'll take a take a drop and I'm just going to put that over the over the wing case. And I'll go a little heavy. That'll settle down. Uh, it won't be quite as high. That's become that's become a pretty deadly pattern for me, and that is the Hammer Creek Pearl.